Hi guys, welcome to Empower and my name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel and welcome to Motivation Monday. So in this video, I wanted to go over a situation that I thought was a little bit stressful and I wanted to tell you how I coped with it and I think I coped with it in a positive way. If you have also a tip on how to deal with this type of situation, then please post a comment below so that other people potentially experiencing this type of experience may also benefit from it. So the other day I was taking care of a patient. He was a young male, you know, in his 50s, early 60s, maybe early 60s. In my opinion, that's a young male. <laughs> and I was talking to him, having a great day. And the next thing that I know, I get a call from the telemetry technician to go check him. His heart rhythm's changed. I go right in there with a vital sign machine and he is blue as can be. This completely took me by surprise. I was not expecting this. Called the code blue right away and that patient did not make it. And and I know that I'm a nurse and I, I deal with these things all the time, but it's, it's very rare that it's so unexpected. He was there for chest pain, but if you've been a nurse for a while, you know that there's a lot of patients that are, are admitted for chest pain rule out MI and everything is fine and the patients are usually discharged like a thousand percent of the time. Well, maybe like 99.9.9% .9 of the time. So, you know, it was really difficult for me to accept this. I had to take the patient to the morgue. He didn't have family around that we could call. So it was just emotionally a difficult uh, thing for me to do because it was just so unexpected and he was such a joy to be around before. Next thing I know though, the hospital is crazy, crazy, crazy busy. They're like, you have an admission, they're already in the room. Like, like, what? The room's clean? There's somebody there? Like, what? <laughs> At that time, myself, I was not emotionally ready to face another patient. So here's what I did, and this is how I dealt with it. And, you know, maybe this will help you later down the road. Or maybe, like I said, somebody else will have a better tip below. But I went and I looked at the patient, and the patient looked fine. It was another young male, but this male, I think, was in his, like, 30s or something like that. Got a quick set of vital signs, and then I excused myself. I said, you know, I've been running all morning. Is there anything that you need at this moment? If not, I'm going to take a quick break. If you need me, you can reach me on my phone or you can also push the call bell. And I honestly, I went to the bathroom and I took a few minutes for myself and I sat down and I sort of had like a moment of silence, a moment to say a prayer for my patient that had passed, give him a moment, give myself a moment. And I released it. I released the pain and the shock that, you know, I was feeling. And at that moment, it helped me have peace. <laughs> So I also drank some water and had a little snack just to take advantage of that little break time, but it helped me just recalibrate and I felt a whole lot better after that. So sometimes if you're always just go, 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 and you don't let yourself feel the feelings that you are you need to feel, then you can sort of like push them below and then that's how things get out of hand really quickly, you know? Um, this other patient might come and have a situation going on and then it's too overwhelming for you. But um, it's not really that one situation, it's just that everything gets stacked. So I really hope this video helped you out a lot. Um, we can deal with so many challenging situations as nurses and it's really important that you know we be there for each other and we support each other as a whole. So alright guys, I really hope you like this Motivation Monday tip. Please subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up for more Motivation Monday videos. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. I love you so much. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing pre-huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you 
reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.